New Year from all of us at ANS. I'm ANS Executive Director Lisa Alexander, and I'm excited to share that after listening to the voices of our community of members, volunteers, program participants, donors, board, and our partners, we have decided to change our name. The ANS community has achieved much together over the past century. Our new name will be one that builds on the victories of our past and moves us forward toward a stronger, more inclusive future. And we want you to be a key part of this process. Our mission at ANS is to inspire people across the DC region to appreciate, understand, and protect their natural environment through outdoor experiences, education, and advocacy. We envision creating a larger and more diverse community of people who treasure the natural world and work to preserve it. Our strong commitment to that mission and vision is why our name has to change. We certainly acknowledge that the art of John James Audubon was a catalyst for bird conservation in our nation, but ignoring the pain that Audubon the man inflicted on black people and other people of color would be a disservice. Names matter. They can cause harm and stress to members of our community. And it has become clear that we can never fully live up to our inclusion, diversity, equity, and accessibility values with our current name. That's why, after thoughtful deliberation, we decided to change our name to one that better reflects the rich diversity of the region we have a mission to serve. We will send a clear message now and in the future, nature needs all of us. Hi, I'm ANS Board President Diane Wood. We need all nature lovers on board to make real progress in protecting our environment. And that's why we spent the last 10 years investing in changes that get us where we need to be. The decision to change our name is about more than what we call ourselves. In 2010, we began to reassess our policies and practices. We found that aspects of our work didn't fully realize our mission to serve all people and nature in the DC metro region. We can and we must do better to address equity and racial justice in everything we do. We welcome a new name that communicates the breadth of our mission work, the uniqueness of what we do, the region that we serve, and that focuses on what binds us together, our shared love of nature. Our new name and brand identity will be decided after a deliberate and thoughtful process of listening and learning from the current ANS community, as well as the nature lovers we hope to partner with in the future. We've assembled a Naming the Future task force to lead the process. The group includes representatives from ANS staff, board, members, donors, and community partners. The task force will collect insights and suggestions from the larger ANS community to identify a new name and brand identity for the organization. The naming process will have four main phases, discovery, insight, creation, and execution. We look forward to working together with you to find the name that enthusiastically welcomes everyone to nature. Hi, I'm board member Alan Spears. I'm excited to announce that this month we'll start the process by asking for your feedback in a survey. We'd like you to tell us what themes our new name needs to convey. You'll also have an option to submit your own name recommendations. The survey is open to everyone in the ANS community between now and January 31st, 2022. To participate, please visit anshome.org slash naming the future, all one word. We can't wait to hear what you dream up. Our goal is to announce our new name and logo this summer. Thank you for being part of this exciting process. And thank you for your commitment to a larger, more diverse community of people who treasure the natural world and work to preserve it. Nature needs all of us.